Hey guys, welcome back. We all are working on source code management to manage our code. For that, we use Git and GitHub. As we all know that master or the main branch is the branch which having the stable version of our code, like the stable version of the applications. So what will happen if someone by mistake or unwantedly just update something or push something into the master branch? So in this video, we'll see how we can restrict the direct push to the master or main branch. So let's start. If you have not yet subscribed my channel, please do subscribe now so that you'll get notified when I add more videos in my channel. So here I'm going to show you in this demo finance dev repository. So I have logged in my GitHub account. Now, if I just go there in this repository, I have around five branches. And you know the master is the main branch, main or the master is the branch which is having the stable version of the code, right? So how we we'll restrict this one? Before uh, setting up, then let me show you how if somebody by mistake or some unwantedly just push the command, push the code to the repository, what will happen, right? So let's first clone this one. And if I just go ahead and clone this repository, let's see. And I am into, suppose uh, if I just do branch here, okay, we have to go back to the repository, right? Go to the repository. And here, if I just do git branch here, I'm into the master branch, okay? Now, let's see. Suppose I want to just, uh, let me just create one branch out of this master and edit it and push it. Let's see what is happening, okay? Now, uh, I'll quickly do that git checkout. Type in B. Suppose I'll create one branch called as feature test 1.0. Okay. So now I'm into feature test 1.0. If I just do branch here, so feature test 1.0. Now let me just edit something in one of the file. Let me just edit into this Jenkins file. Okay. And here I'll just restriction test. For the GitHub project. Something I changed this code here. Okay. Now let's save it. So after you save this, and I can just quickly add this particular thing to the this particular branch, right? You commit happen M. So just give us a message like update it. Now, what I can do, I need to merge this to the master, right? I'm doing everything in the local platform, local machines on my machine, right? So let's go back to the git checkout to master branch. Okay, so I switch to master. And now if I just do git branch, so I'm into master branch here. Now, what I can do, I can merge the feature test 1.0 to master. Let's go ahead, git merge. master to feature tests 1.0 okay so the merge is done now so what i can do if i'll just push this code now if i just go to the github right let's go to the github and we'll see there in the github if i just go to this jenkins file right now we we have this particular restriction test there only just this word now let me just push it from the local machine here okay now what i can do use git push origin and master here right so you can see here the code is directly pushed to the master there is no restriction right directly pushed so what happened if you have a big enterprise applications and something somebody has changed and directly push to the master and nobody has noticed this one. So it could cause a problem and impact your applications, right? So what though we have the functionality to recall it or to get the previous versions, we can do, but it is some extra level of work we have to do that, right? So to overcome this problem, now let me show you what has happened here. Now let's, if I just go to this particular repo, now just refresh this page. Go back here. 
go to the master branch. Okay, I've selected to the master, go to the Jenkins file here. And you can see here, it's automatically, you no, know, once we pushed, it's reflected into the GitHub. Now, this is what I just want to show you how we can restrict this complete direct process. Right now, what you have to do first thing, let's go to the repository here. Now, go to settings. And here you can see we have this code and automation span. We have the branches, right? Click on these branches. And what you have to do, you have to create one branch protection drill. You have to add branch protection rule. Now, let's click on this. And here, just give the pattern the branch name, which branch you have to keep a protections, right? You have to uh, set a protection rule. Suppose for me, it is master. For some repository, it could be main, right? So let's select master. And what you have to do only, you have to just select require a pull request before merging. That's all, simple. Require a pull request before merging, require, require approval. So once you select this, let's go ahead and create a protection rule. Okay. Now branch protection rule has been created under master. Now the same thing if I repeat, right? The same thing if I repeat, what will happen? Let's see. Let me quickly go back, check out, or let me directly update something into the master. Okay. In this particular file, suppose we add Jenkins file and here, suppose, let me delete this line. I don't need it. Let's save this one. Okay. Wait. I'm doing this directly into master, but we normally should not do directly any update to the master. We should do in any of the branches and then update into the master, right? So add it, commit, hyphen M. I'll just give us restriction test. Some message here. Enter. Now I committed this. Let's push this one to the master branch, right? So what I'll do here, git push origin master, right? And hit enter. See what is H? Remote error protected branch updated failed for this. So changes must be done or must be made through a pull request. So any changes we have done should be done from a pull request. Okay. Now, so how you do this pull, pull request? Go there and uh, go to the repository. Just click on this pull request. And what about the changes create? Click on this new pull request. And what about the changes you have done? Suppose you have done something from uh, feature day one. For our case, it is uh, like test 1.0, right? Test 1.0. So that has not been yet pushed to the GitHub. So what you can do, select that branch, whatever you want to merge, then you can just merge it. You can see here, it cannot automatically merge, means master is ahead of this particular branch. So there is a conflict. You have to first fix it and then create a pull request. Right? So manually you have to fix it and then create a pull request. That's all, guys. I hope you understood clearly how you can restrict the access. Okay. If you have any doubt or any concerns, please do write me in the comment section below. I'll try to answer your questions.